Hey gamers, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, and we are taking a look at Vantage Point on Bad Company 2 Vietnam. So, Vantage Point is really compact and uh, close quarters in the beginning. On the first section of the map, this is Rush. Uh, there's two main areas you can go. You can go left or right. Through the left, there's a tunnel. Through the right, there's a road. The enemy has our team locked down heavily on both sides, and our team just doesn't have enough sense to do something different. Uh, what me and my squad are doing is we're going to actually run over here and go in the middle. Uh, so we're down. Uh, we've only got a few tickets left. It's near the end of the game. Uh, if we don't get this, we're in bad trouble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use the flamethrower. Uh, I'm using this almost as cover. Uh, I don't have smoke. There is no smoke in Vietnam, but you can use the flamethrower, I find, just as, as well to distract the enemy. It's really good for close quarter combat to, to clear out a room to defend a base or to grab a base. The flamethrower is just awesome, but it's only good if you're in sections of the map that are really tight and, and close. And on vantage point, the first section, uh, if you have a couple of teammates with a flamethrower, should do a, a lot of damage. Now the second leg of the map opens up a lot more, so I'm going to switch out my flamethrower for an AK-47. Uh, I like the AK, uh, and we are coming in from the left-hand side of the map. Uh, the right-hand side, I believe, is better to come in at, but our the rest of our team was doing a good job of pushing so hard over there that the enemy was completely over there. They left the left side open, so we were able to sneak in. So don't, you know, if you're having trouble working your way up uh, one route, you know, try something different. Don't keep going the same way, uh, and use dead carcasses as cover. So after I arm a base, I like to run away from the base, actually, and try to defend it because if you stay near the crate, uh, enemies are going to run up, they're going to throw grenades, they're, they're going to be looking for you near the crate, but they don't always look for you around the crate, so you'll pick up some uh, easy kills a lot of times. This one is uh, another game that I played, but it was the same map, same bases. We still have A and B, but A is easier to take in my opinion, B is harder. So uh, while I'm back here, while I've snuck back here, I'm going to go ahead and arm B first since the enemy is up covering mainly A and trying to push our friendlies back. After I grab it, I like to sit over here in this little tomato patch. I've got the fence behind me. I've got cover, so all I have to do is worry about the front and the side. I can see the crate. Uh, I can see people walking up to it, so this is a great area. Now, on the previous video that I was showing you, I couldn't do it uh, on that one because B was the last base to be taken. Uh, by that time the house was already demolished, the fence was already gone, so it had already had a whole lot of chaos there. But if you're able to use this little area, this this is great for cover and to uh, find enemies sneaking up to try to disarm the base. Now for the last leg of Vantage Point, this area is super wide open. You'll notice that on the left hand side is where the bases are, but you're, you're so far out in the open that it's easy for snipers to take shots at you like that one was doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on the right hand side of the map. I'm going to duck for cover for a little bit, let my health regenerate, and I'm just going to keep going. And uh, I'm trying to jump through every bush possible to try to give me as much cover as I can while I try to run through here and uh, trying to get to the other side. So uh, I wasn't looking for enemies, I wasn't trying to shoot people on my way because by the time I get over here they're going to be respawned. I'm not worried about them, I'm just worried about getting into a position. Now that I'm here I'm taking it slow, I'm looking for enemies and I'm letting my teammates know, hey guys, uh, I'm over here, I'm near their base, if you die spawn on me. Be sure that you communicate to your teammates and let them know when exactly you're going to uh, uh, if you're in a safe position or if your teammates need to spawn on you. Same thing goes for if you're one of the last ones left. If you're dead and you're waiting to respawn, be sure to tell your teammate, hey, hide out for just a second. I have like three seconds left before I respawn. And uh, that will save you so much trouble by being able to leapfrog your way into the base. Now I go for the crate and I get killed, and this happens several times. I'm only showing you the best parts of the video because uh, why do you want to see me die a bunch of times? Uh, after I armed the crate, uh, I, I did this for a couple of times and they just kept on sneaking around the other side. You'll also notice that you can still fire while arming the crate as I did right there. It is uh, a little weird uh, to do on your controller, but you can get the hang of it. You can still move and fire while arming. 
So uh, they didn't keep coming in from this side to disarm, they kept on coming in from the other side. So uh, once again I try to move in, I try to arm it. I get taken down, but uh, one of my teammates actually comes and picks me up. Medics, uh, so far from what I've played, a lot of random players are playing as medics and doing a good job of reviving. Just make sure that if you're playing as a medic, try to clear out the area before you revive your teammate, or otherwise uh, both of you are just going to end up dying more than likely. So since they kept coming in from this side, I tried to actually run around to this side to cover it. But then I get distracted because I have ADD and I see enemies and I see kills uh, flash before my eyes. So this is Vantage Point. Hope you learned a little something and look for more tips, tricks, hints, strategies coming soon for Bad Company 2 Vietnam. Head on over to Battlestrats.com for the full Vietnam guide. Thanks for watching.